Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install the Python and PIP programs, and then how to add them to the Windows environment variables. Here we go. Hi guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install Python and PIP, and then finally add them to the environment's Windows variables. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna be going to the website www.python.org backslash downloads backslash release backslash python and then whatever version you're going to be downloading right so you're going to scroll down and for me it's going to be uh amd64 emt64 you're going to download the executable installer right once it's downloading you're going to open it and run it Okay, since I already done it, uh, it would uh, prompt you to install instead of modify or repair. Okay, now that we have done, and once it's done that, uh, you'll be able to run, uh, install and run Python. Okay, once you're done with that, I'm gonna exit out since I already did it. Uh, right now, now I'm gonna be going down to show you how to install pip for pip you're going to be doing going to the command prompt so for that you're going to go to search cmd for command prompt and then open it and here you're going to type in first uh the ensure pip module which allows you to install pip in the python environment so the program, the command that you're gonna be running is gonna be py-m ensure pip dash dash upgrade. You're gonna run it. Once that's done, you're gonna download the script uh, using the ensure pip uh, called get dash pip dot py. And to run that program, and which would install the pip into your Windows system. And the, you would do py and then get dash pip.py. Okay, now that you see it says installation successful. Since mine was already installed, it uh, so it successfully installed pip 22.0.4. Okay, now that's that's done. We're gonna be installing the environment variables, but first of all, we need to find the path for these uh, uh, programs. First, the Python, and then the pip. As you can see here, uh, if you go to this PC, you go to my C drive. You're gonna go to users. Then your primary user is gonna be either some type of variation. But for me is Medin. Then from here, I'm gonna go to backslash. Is uh, it's gonna be app data, right? Here you're gonna go to local. Then you're gonna go to programs. Then you're gonna go to Python. My latest version is a 3.10. So this is the path that I need for the environment variables. And so you're gonna open the Python file. As you can see here is the executable for Python application is right here. So this is the path that we need for the environment variables. Okay, so we're gonna copy this path. Now we're gonna go to control panel we're gonna go to system, system security, then system, then advanced settings, <clears throat> then environment variables. Then we're gonna look for the one for path. And here we're gonna click edit. As you can see here, so you're gonna add in here, you're gonna type in new. You're gonna put in the path for the Python executable a program application and then a backslash 
the next is uh, we're gonna be adding you could right-click it adds it and next we're gonna be looking for the scripts which is where pip is installed as well as other um, executables applications that you might need to use so we get the path copy then we're going back to environment variables you're gonna click new paste it and then the backslash again okay once that's done it's just gonna execute uh, it's gonna add the environment variables and you can use this programs anywhere in the system okay for me I'm gonna click cancel because I already had added them here as you can see and then cancel you're like okay and now to test it we're gonna go back to the command prompt and here we're gonna type Python that's dash version and then pip that's dash version you can see the Python gave me back a 3.10 version and the pimp version is a pip 22004 so it's showing me that both are installed and properly working inside the system Thank you for your watching this video and I uh, hope to see you soon. Well guys, I hope you liked this video. If so, please like and share as well as subscribe to receive new and updated videos like this one. Thank you. Have a good one.